everybody, it's Charlie from Daily Motor. Today we've got the sound system demo of the 2021 Honda Ridgeline and its base 7 speaker 200 watt audio system. This is going to be an in-depth review, we're going to take a look at the infotainment system, take a look at speaker locations, Android Auto and Apple CarPlay, audio adjustments and sound settings. We're going to get it on the road and listen to these sample tracks while we're rolling. I'll give you my thoughts at the end. Before we get started, let's hop out and take a look at this truck. Facelifted for 2021 here in the base sport trim with the HPD package, which pretty much just makes it look cool. These bronze wheels and some decals. If you want to see more on the Ridgeline, check the link in the description. We got a fuel economy test and a little car court argument review and maybe some off-road footage as well. Now we typically do this test with lossless uncompressed WAP audio files on a USB stick plugged directly into the system, but for some reason the Ridgeline will not play the songs off my USB drive. Very strange. So we've got the same uncompressed lossless files on my phone, but it's streaming through Bluetooth, so arguably the quality might be a little bit lower, but for all intents and purposes it should be just about the same. We also do the test with the sound settings set to their factory defaults, so let's take a look at those now. We also don't have a sunroof in this Ridgeline, so we had to kind of finagle an interesting camera angle for our more direct view here, but we'll see how it looks. In the menu here, we've got... First of all, let's turn the brightness up a little bit for you. There we go, and then menu. Oh, come on, back, menu, sound. You've got fader and balance right there, a subwoofer adjustment, separate speed sensitive volume control or compensation, and then bass and treble. So let's go through bass, treble, and subwoofer now. Audio controls, you've got this very nice volume knob that Honda's been using recently. It's got a nice feel to it, good clicks, I'm glad they're going back to the knob. You also have volume adjustments on the left side of the steering wheel. For track selection, you've either got to use the touch screen on the proper menu, so I'd have to be back and then using those six buttons, or you got the left side of the steering wheel as well. For audio inputs in the Ridgeline, you have your standard AM, FM, Sirius XM, satellite radio, USB, Bluetooth, Apple CarPlay, and Android Auto support, and a 3.5 millimeter auxiliary input jack. So what does that mean you're missing? Well, you don't have a disc player and you don't have any USB type C's. Would be kind of nice to see some type C's considering they just refreshed this truck, but I wouldn't get your hopes up too much. For speaker locations, as I said, this is a seven speaker system. So starting in the bottom left, you've got one, two, three, four. In the back, you have five and six in the doors and then a subwoofer underneath, kind of behind the seats. Can't really see it, but on the right side. Android Auto and Apple CarPlay demonstrations. Let's start with CarPlay. Let's power this on here. You have a USB down here, another USB-A here. I'm not sure if they both do data, but since we're not really getting any response, let's try plugging into that. There we go. Would you like to use CarPlay? Enable. Comes up very quickly. Does change our audio input, but here you go, CarPlay. Our maps aren't loaded, but you've got mapping there. Very responsive, music, settings, looks good and responds nicely. Okay, Android Auto. Also very simple. You get your maps launched right there. You go home app screen you can bring up your YouTube music and let's bring up settings as well all right let's get the music going again and get out on the road
do in highway speeds, turn the music down and get an idea for what the ridge line sounds like. Quite refined in here. We measured 70 decibels on our rudimentary phone measuring system. good sign for me that an audio system is not very good is if it sounds significantly better with my headphones in. In order to do this actual recording portion, I have to put microphones in my ears and it sort of blocks out some of the sound. And on worse systems, such as this one, it sounds better because it takes off some of that harshness from the mid-range. But yeah, this song is it's not sloppy, but it's not crisp. Some of the lows are coming through decently satisfying, but other than that, not really enjoying listening to rock music like this at high volumes in the ridge line with the bass sound system. This next song we'll turn the bass all the way up see what happens. Oops. Come on. Function is not available while vehicles in motion. Are you kidding me? Oh, okay. I just couldn't wipe it. I had to tap it. It's weird. Anyway. to listen to this track especially at loud volumes because only having 200 maximum watts this system drops the power and drops the volume significantly when the bass comes in probably to protect itself and to be honest I'm not even too upset about that because if they didn't it would sound super sloppy and blown out instead it still sounds okay it's just quieter so even if I turn it up oh there we go there it's getting all now you can hear the slop
wrapping up my thoughts on the seven speaker system here in the 2021 Honda Ridgeline. Eh, I'm not impressed, but I'm also not surprised. So, boo hoo, base Ridgeline Honda truck, no branded audio, it sounds meh. So, objectively speaking, on a grade rating scale, we'd be giving this a D rating. Not great. That being said, it is the base model. You can get an upgraded one, but it's still not fantastic infotainment. Uh, I'm frustrated by the fact that my songs weren't playing through my USB sticks. The only car I've had in my memory that hasn't worked. There might have been one other one that had. Maybe it was a Honda. Who knows? So, yep, pretty solid D rating here for this system. Thank you all so much for watching. If you want to see more on the otherwise excellent Honda Ridgeline, take a look in the description. We've got other videos talking about its merits rather than its audio demerits here. And we'll see you on the next one. I'm Charlie from Daily Motor, and as always, drive on.